Hello everybody, welcome back to some more Lord of the Rings Online. We are here in Talmethrendus, and uh, I said that wrong, but we are here with Theodred and our hobby gift of the day. Before we actually talk to Theodred and begin the attack on the prison caves, we will look at our hobby gift of the day and of the week. We are going to get, hopefully, some good stuff. We're going to get a huge pile of silver scraps, which is fairly good. I, see, um, I recently sold the set I had in my inventory. And uh, don't worry, I will be working through all this stuff in the near future. I'll talk about that in a second. And we will have a scroll of finesse, which... I, I mean, it's kind of useful. We can use it. But it's not going to be something I'm uh, desperately after. So yeah, um, in terms of this, there's a few things that we are eventually going to work through. I mean... These are going to be somewhat soon. Um, we've got two more tiers, so we've got Westfold, Easterminute, Westerminute. So I'm going to probably maybe trade those over to another account for the moment. And uh, yeah, those are the same there. And Weaponsmith, actually, we can actually use those now. That's why I kept these here, is because they are both usable. A decorated mace and a Kalinard serrated knife recipe. So we use those two. That gets some inventory space for us. Which is quite nice, and also more uh, melee weapons, because this level 72 stuff you need to unlock, and we don't have any stuff for that right now. So hopefully we get some good Easter Minute drops. And then uh, I've also got to get rid of this stuff, which I'll do when I work out what I want for cosmetics. And yeah, as I said, I need to buy a house, and then I think we'll be good in that uh, situation. So Theodred, Prince of Rohan, let us travel now with you, and... You know, rescue the uh, rest of the Grey Company. We will rescue your friends, and we will have vengeance upon the Falcon Clan. You have my word. Good, I have your word. We will rescue them. That is hopefully uh, going to happen. Hopefully none of them have, have died. Um, none of them were imprisoned here, but you must be keeping them further ahead away from the entrance. Uh, okay, we have to find these two, two of his men in the other rooms. Join my men further and fight for the freedom of your friends. So they are both over here and down there. So we're going to focus on this guy first because he's here. And just work through these guys eventually. Hopefully we get some good drops. If not, item XP and just general XP is always nice. Especially with that big chunk of bonus XP that we have as usual from the VIP bonus stuff. So, yeah, hopefully, this uh, shouldn't be... I, it's been a very long time since I've done this sort of quest line, so I'm uh, very, you know... Anywhere past the, you know, prison in Isengard sort of thing is where I'm kind of murky with everything. So, oh, we found a ranger. We've got some more rangers. Apparently, I'm unable to open doors, so that's great. Are they going to help, or are they going to... No, they're going to disappear. Okay. Let's get these guys down then. Yeah, anything past like the being captured in Isengard is uh, very fuzzy for me, so I, uh, I'm still blind when it comes to these now. Which I think is, is the better way of doing it. And also, if you hadn't, I don't know if I said it in the last episode, we do now have Helm's Deep. So we are going to be able to, uh, you know, progress through that without having to worry about having the expansion. So we can go straight into that with no breaks. You're freed. A room of captives. That's good. And let's return to Theodred, who is right here. Fight along Theodred further into the prison caves. So, even more fighting. And have we got any drops yet? I don't know if these guys will drop anything. Maybe they're made so they don't. Or maybe we're just being very unlucky. Could be either. Some more to shoot down. Oh, nice. Shouldn't be difficult for you. I'm not sure if there's any on this pathway. It looks like there might not be, but it looks like he's progressing down here naturally anyway, or maybe they appear just on the side you went down. I'm not sure, but I think we're all right. There's only one here, which is suspicious to me. I feel like we're going to have... Something's going to happen. Listen to Golodir's words. Tavella, they took Halbarad and the sons of Elrond deeper into the caves. Oh god. You have to go after them. Right. Uh I will I will do that thing. You go ahead, I'll open these cells and follow after you. 
Cool, I'm gonna run ahead. I'm assuming they meant down here. Hopefully they did, otherwise I'm going completely the wrong way. And apparently they do drop items, because we just got some. So, maybe we're just being unlucky. Alright. Oh! You guys are alright. I kind of expected that, but... Pamela thought to bring us before Lou Brennan, who did not choose men strong enough for the task. I'm glad to see you, Tove Lord. Let's go to Lou Brennan now, and on our own terms. Let us do that thing. Come on, guys, let's go. Oh, lordy, lordy, lordy. And take him, that's fine. This is why you wish you had AoE, you just run in there. Lou Brennan. You're full of surprises. I did not think you would cross my path again in this life. How is you how is it that you came to escape from the clutches of Saruman? Lou Brennan smiles mockingly at your silence. You're a fool to return here. You may have freed some members of your company, but I have exacted my price from the Grey Company. We'll, soon, we'll not soon forget Lou Brennan and the Falcon Clan, I think. Yeah, I'll probably forget you. How many of your number remain? 20? 30? That's enough. I'm going to set a trap just below, just in case. You'll leave this cave and you will leave my village. These guys having names above them makes me feel like we're going to attack, but wherever you go, you will tell the tale of how Lou Brennan and the Falcons bested you. Run away, weak ones. You are beaten. I think not. These passages extend for miles under the mountains, and my people know them all. We'll find our way. You cannot face us here. You cannot pursue us. You will, can only retreat. You have lost. Could shoot you right in the face right now. All right, Halbrad. He is right, we cannot raise a hand against him in this position. There are too many and we are too few. There may be another time, but this is not it. We will we will return and we will we will best you. We can do nothing more from here. We must lick our wounds, bury our dead, and wait for another time. But I swear it, before this war is over, the Falcon Clan will taste our vengeance, and rightly so. We emerged from the dark of the prison caves fewer, but with greater resolve. And with a new ally, Feodred, the Prince of Rohan. We are in his debt, and I will see that debt paid before we leave this land. Right, so we're back at the scout camp. Let's talk to Halbarad over here. I'm grateful for the lives you have saved, and mourn the friends we have lost. Right, so we had some really cool uh, pocket items that we can possibly get. So we have the Might and Vitality, the Agility Vitality, which is probably what we'll choose. The Will and Vitality, and the Might and Vitality, which uh, is just kind of swapped with that so here we have majority vitality instead of might and this we have more might than vitality i'd say that's better than that generally but you get the block and parry ready. neither uh, neither way either way uh we're gonna go for the agility vitality one we'll probably then um we can then probably just get rid of and i think we just completed book four as well but what we can do is uh have a look at our existing pocket items like here 48 agility for example compared to you know the 87 and stuff like this, where it's not really anything that we need. Um, this stuff, you know, we we get more, we get less vitality, less health overall because of the loss of the max morale stuff. But we get agility. I still think it's not worth it. Um, this is a pocket iron, which is 50 agility, 50 fate. We might keep that because it's got the fate boost. Um, the 75 vitality, but you lose the morale. So I'm actually going to get rid of that one. Uh, and then that might be worth keeping, actually. So we have uh, got a bit of inventory back, but we are slowly working through it, so we will do that. But we now have a legendary item level up. Um, what is the button? There it is. So that is going to be in both of these. So the Hunter's Sword, we can rank up once again. The Hunter's Bow is obviously at max uh, DPS at the moment. Uh, I meant to get a bunch of um, a bunch of uh, Heritage Runes, but I completely forgot I should do that. But uh, yeah, we'll we'll work on uh, legacies and stuff later. But I think book four is now complete. So book five, chapter rounds. one, separate ways. We can get some of the really expected. cool items here. Um, we can get either the worn tuners ranger um, rangers tunic or the fine gray company tunic. And I think I'm gonna go for the gray company stuff mainly because I don't think you can actually get both sets. But I think this 
this looks better than this on this character if we were to use that. And recently I had to go buy, um, well I didn't have to, but I decided to buy another outfit slot. So we have this outfit slot obviously, this which we never really wear, and then we have this stuff and now a fourth one that we can uh, put the Grey Company stuff into, which is pretty good. So what is this quest? What do we have to do? And sooner Talk to Sedan by the fire at the camp in Gravenwood. Which is right over here. Okay. Hoberod told me his decision, and I will not speak against it. Oh, so we 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 leave now. Ah, you do not need me to tell you these things. You've seen the ring of Isengard and escaped to tell the tale. You'll be a great help to Th Prince Theodred. I do not doubt it. So, I really hope that we have enough space in our inventory. For this, but these quests look like they're fairly easy. Um, I sort of remember these, uh, kind of. They seem like just kind of saying goodbye. Um, but we do look like we have uh, enough inventory space, We're hopefully. So. Now. How can this be Hoberod's decision? I'm sorry, man. I but... am worried about Goladir. You're worried about Goladir. Let's go talk to him. Where is he? He's all the way over here on his own, in the shade of a boulder west of. Uh, coroner in the Craven Wood. Let's go talk to him. It may be Hobbara's decision, but I would not leave even if he ordered me home again. Did we pick the... Yeah, we did. <laughs> I was going to say, hopefully we didn't pick the wrong one. That would completely mess up the outfit. So yeah, it looks like that. Take vengeance on oh, I'm sorry. I would love to. I would... I'd door doing that because he he really needs it but maybe later are we anything more than the flickering of a candle in the gale to something so ancient probably I'm sure Theodred will find a use for you at the fords of the Eisen I hope so I'm also going to quickly just pick up this uh, scholar set of items whilst we are here But yeah, we uh, it looks like we're going with, you know, Theodred and helping him out. But unfortunately, that does mean we are leaving the Grey Company, which is uh, that is the way, is it not? We go where we are needed. Indeed. Prestidier will want to say farewell to you before you leave us. So yeah, these are some of the easier quests, but it's sad. We have to say bye to the Grey Company. So, Be slightly well upsetting. And give your courage to Theodred. Stay safe on the road, my friend. I I will try. Thank you for the gear. Let's go talk to Halbarad. It has been an honor to travel with you. The Grey Company owes you much and more. Yes. Thank you. I understand Prince Theodred's men have established a camp in the Heathfells. Okay, nice to know. What we're going to do quickly is we have the extra outfit slot now. I'm actually thinking I might just get rid of this outfit slot because I think we still have the items. I definitely have the like Cloak of Many Worlds and stuff. And the Yule Festival is coming up, so if not, I can get those. Also, speaking of Yule Festival, apparently Elks are a thing that are going to be happening there. I am going to be grinding that so hard to get Elks because, my god, I need that. But that will happen when it comes to it. But for now, uh, we will just ever so quickly do this. We can then... We have no, we have no like, trousers set for it, unfortunately, but that's what uh, this tunic will cover that. But there we are, we have an outfit. Let's change quickly, see what we would look like uh, if we want to become part of the Grey Company. I think we are doing pretty good there, but for the moment, we will stay with what we have been doing for a very long time. I also forgot we have a bow here. Uh, what's our normal bow look like? What? Yeah, what's our normal bow? Oh, our bow, our current bow looks quite cool, actually. But I do like the uh, the design on this one that we have. It's also slightly off from a. Uh, what it actually looks like. But nonetheless, there is a camp that we need to go travel to. Okay, that's very far away. 
but we are now going to be going into Rohan, it looks like. So that's the gap of Rohan there. So looking at this, here is a place over here. It does look to have a Stable Master at Grimbold's camp. So I think what we'll do for the moment is not get attacked by uh, things because we're being stupid. But we will travel over there to Grimbold's camp. And I think that'll be where we end off for today. Because I feel like that is one of the perfect places to end off. Starting a new... Uh, you know, starting with a new group. We have now, uh, you know, said farewell to the Grey Company, sadly. And we're going to be saying hi to Theodred's, you know, group at Grimbold's camp, which hopefully is the start of something very, very good, hopefully. <laughs> um, and in the meantime, I will, again, get rid of some of these items. Like, I can, I can get rid of these dies, or at least trade them over. Um, you know, this stuff, the only problem with this stuff is it's bound, unfortunately, which does make it a little bit more frustrating to deal with, but nonetheless, we'll work something out, we'll trade at least some of these over and uh, get rid of the stuff we don't need, put some in our bank and clear out that eventually, and hopefully everything works out. And uh, also just going to buy some more bank space, I think that's my next thing, I've got all the expansions, don't need to buy anything else with uh, lottery points, so... That is probably our next go-to when we ever get any more Lotro points. Which, uh, you know, will be good for us because we'll go from 115. I think there's 20 more slots I can buy. So we'll go from 115 to 135. That's 20 extra slots. So it does make it so there will be this gap um, existing, I think. Actually, no, there won't be because there'll be 5, 10, 15, 20. That's actually perfect. So that'll work out good. We are now in... Rohan, technically. We're in the gap of Rohan, so this is, I think, our first time ever being here, so welcome to, to Rohan, or generally the area. Um, the gap of Rohan, at least, because we are technically near Dunland still, and it's not moving us out to being in, you know, West Rohan, for example. But the gap of Rohan is where we are, and uh, as I said, I think this is the first time we've been here, and we've got some more menacing enemies here, level 74s. And our quests have catched up to us, uh, or caught up to us at level 75. Only one level below what we currently are. So we might be in for a little bit of a difficult time, possibly, having a big jump that we have. So I will definitely need to work on some new armor and some new jewelry when at all possible. Though jewelry is fairly decent other than the rings, I think. This stuff is all level 72. This has no level. And, yeah, that scales with us, so that's dang. Yeah, we are now at the camp. Let's not damage ourselves too much. Let's find the entrance, which I think is over here. Looks like it might be. Exploring the heath fields is a thing we have now. We've also gone to, like, the back entrance that we don't have open. So we're going to have to go to the other side before we can enter. We need to get Stable Master at the very least, and then talk to uh, Grimbold. Your aid is welcome, friend. There we go. We can now travel from Galtrev to here, and vice versa. So that's good. Let's talk to Grimbold, see what he has to say quickly, and carry on. Theodred has come back to us from his study of the Dunlending clans. Okay. So we will just quickly... Uh, have a look at this stuff. So, we will just talk to who we need to talk to. Um, it's pretty far away in some cases, but yeah, we'll complete this one quest, basically. And that'll be that. The table is used by the Rohirrim to plan their strategy and movements. That's good. Hopefully, you know, as long as they're planning stuff, then that's good. You know, I don't want to go in without a plan to, uh, to any battle. So... We have one person over here, so we will do this. Oh, I remember this spot now. That's uh, going to be a fun time. We will have that happen in the near future. So, oh, Tinstan, is that your name? I'm Prince Theodred's Esquire. I help him with his armor and his steed and with anything else that he needs doing. Okay. Someone's taking his braces, though. That's not good. Or not nice. So now we need to talk to Trumbold and 
see what he has to say, and uh, yeah, once this quest is done, as I said, we will uh, finish off. I don't like leaving quests unfinished, and uh, yeah, that'll be the start of our new thing. Oh, we got someone here. Oh, I thought that was uh, another player with just a really, you know, for some reason, yellow name instead of the kind of um, brighter or like lighter color that's there. That was weird. I was very confused by them not having a level. Someone right, Trumbled. He's keeping it inside Isengard for now. He might be. I don't think we ever saw an army. We saw a lot of workers, but not an army, I don't think. Though, with the amount of orcs there, it could, could be a small army, you know, that's being, uh, being used. But now we'll talk to Theodred and finish this. Oh my god, I hope this gate opens sometime in the near future because that's going to be frustrating to have to constantly go around. But uh, it wouldn't make sense considering that's kind of the, where, this is kind of like the, where every, you know, all the stores and such are, let's say. And that's where all like the captains and leaders are. So that's probably not the best way of doing it. But we do have Theodore here, who uh, Once all is, ready, is devising a plan. To be a part of it. Okay, cool. I would welcome any of your own friends as well, but I understand they have them on a mission. I wish them well in it. Enough talk. It's time to strengthen my, strengthen my forces. They will have the need of the strength in the days to come. Let's finish with you. Yes. So, uh, we will talk to uh, Athlard in the Yacht of the Eisen, or in the Eisen, which is over there, uh, in the next episode. And hopefully... Oh, we have a weapon to reforge. Welcome, Let's quickly do that. Reforge and... Uh, that one. There we are. So, yeah. We will talk to him in the next episode. But thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.